Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to solve one-step equations with rational coefficients. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple problems together. So take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So our first problem here is two thirds n equals fourteen, right? And remember what this means is two thirds times a number equals fourteen. All right. So to solve for n, we need to do the opposite of timing, which is dividing, right? So the way we divide by two thirds is we multiply by the reciprocal, right? So let me grab my pen here. So the way we, we're gonna divide is we're gonna multiply both sides by three over two. And remember, when it comes to solving equations, what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other side, right? So remember, the point of this move is now these threes cancel out because when you multiply fractions, you're allowed to cross reduce, right? And these twos also cross reduce. So now all that's left is n equals, all right? And then 14 times three halves, right? I can cross reduce the 14 and the two. I can make this a seven and make this a one. And then finally, seven times three is 21. So that's our solution. All right, let's do one more. So here we have uh, 6 tenths n equals 12. Now, before I solve it using a decimal, you could just convert, right, 6 tenths into fraction form. So it'll be 6 tenths n equals 12, okay? And then do the exact same thing we did over here where we divide by multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So sometimes you might want to do that instead. So instead, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to divide by 6 tenths in the decimal form, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by 6 tenths. And again, the 6 tenths will reduce. So n is left over on this side. That's going to be our number, okay? So now I need to divide 12 by 6 tenths, all right? So let me do the long division here. So I'm going to say 12.0, and we're going to divide that by 6 tenths, right? And remember, you can't ever have any decimals out here. So I'm going to move this decimal one spot to the right. And by doing that, I'm really multiplying by 10. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to move this decimal over here now. So now I have 120 divided by 6, okay? And now it's just a matter of doing the long division. So I know 6 goes into 12 two times. And six times two is 12. And subtract, bring down the zero. And I know six goes into zero, zero times. And we end up with just 20. So our answer is gonna be N equals 20. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And then when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right, good luck. Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems, okay? So the first problem you had to solve was 9 tenths times n equals 63, okay? So again, in order to divide by 9 tenths, I need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is going to be 10 ninths. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 10 over nine. And then when you do that, again, these 10s cross reduce, the nines cross reduce. So we end up with N equals, all right. Now I can cross reduce the 63 and the nine. So I'm gonna make this a one and then make this a seven. And then seven times 10 gives you 70. So the solution for the first problem is 70. All right, the next one we have two tenths N equals one and six tenths. So I'm gonna divide both by two tenths. All right, again, that makes the two tenths cancel out and we have N equals. So now I need to know how many times does two tenths go into one and six tenths. So we gotta do the long division over here. 
like this. And again, I'm gonna move the decimal point one spot to the right and move this decimal one spot to the right. So now we have 16 divided by two, which we know is eight. So n equals eight. All right, how'd you do?